a very good evening to all my lovely listeners. It's time for children's bedtime treasury with Let Emotion Speak. Today's story is about the enchanted heart. Long ago there lived a peddler. Every day he took up the same place in the market square with his harp. Now this was no ordinary harp. It was an enchanted harp. The peddler would call out to passers by and for a penny the harp would play all its own any tune they wished. It could play any sort of tune from the slowest most tearful ballad to the liveliest happiest jig. It could play music for any occasion. Sometimes a wedding party would come by just to have the harp play a tune for the bride and the groom. Now one day a young man passed through the town. He heard the sound of the harp's sweet music coming from the market square and he made his way over to where the peddler stood. He couldn't believe his eyes or his ears. The harp was playing a lullaby for a lady with a baby that was crying. The music was so enchanting that the baby soon stopped wailing and was fast asleep. Then he saw an old man give the peddler a penny and whisper in his ear. The harp changed its tune and now it played an ancient melody that the old man had not heard for many years and his eyes filled with tears of gratitude. The young man watched all this and thought to himself, If only that harp were mine, I could make a lot more money with it than that silly old peddler. He waited for a while for the crowd to disperse and then when he thought no one was looking at him, he went up to the peddler and said, People say that on this day a great spotted pig will fall out of the sky and land on the market square. Keep a look out and if you see a pair of trotters in the sky, get out of the way fast. And he pointed up at the sky. The peddler peered upwards, but all he could see was scudding white clouds. While he was staring up, the young man snatched the harp and was out of the market square and away down the street before the peddler realized what had happened. Stop! Thief! the peddler shouted. But it was too late. By the time people gave the chase, the young man had gone. He didn't stop running until he reached a town many miles away where no one had seen the enchanted harp before. The young man set up the harp and called out to the passers-by. Two pennies and my harp will play any tune you wish. A man and a woman came up and asked for a waltz and sure enough the harp began to play. The couple spun around the square merrily and were happily enough to give the young man two pennies. More and more people came by and asked for tunes. The young man rubbed his hands with pleasure. I shall surely make my fortune now, he said to himself. Weeks passed and the young man did indeed make a lot of money. He didn't care at all how much he charged. If someone who looked wealthy came along, he might charge them six pennies or even eight. By now, he had completely forgotten that he had stolen the harp and that it did not belong to him at all. He bought himself fine clothes and ate expensive food and generally considered himself rather clever. Then, one day, an old man in a broad-brimmed hat came past and asked for a tune. He grumbled a bit when the young man asked for two pennies, but held out the coins, making sure the young man could not see his face, for he was the peddler. I'd like the harp to play a tune to drive you mad, said the old man. The young man thought this was a strange request, but he had taken the coins and the harp had already started to play. It played a short and a very silly tune. Then it played it again and again and again and again. It simply wouldn't stop. 
by now the old man had slipped away so when people weren't watching the young man tried to kick the harp but it sidestepped him and carried on playing on and on it went playing that infuriating tune the young man put his hands over his ears to block out the noise but the harp just played louder passers by moved away what a terrible tune they said the young man tried to move away but the harp just followed him down the road still playing everywhere he went night and day the harp followed the young man until he was at his wits end he had used up all his money and he was in despair finally he thought there was only one thing to do he must go back to the peddler and beg him to stop the harp it took him a while to make his way back to the town where the peddler lived but sure enough there he was standing in the market square trying to sell a few old pots and pans to passers by he looked very unhappy and the young man felt truly sorry for what he had done he approached the peddler with the harp still playing away behind him he was about to explain when to his surprise the peddler stopped him and said i know all about your plight i will stop the harp playing its maddening tune on one condition i'll do anything said the young man you must ask people what tune they would like to play and then you must give them a penny each time the young man gratefully agreed and the peddler told the harp to stop playing the young man had to work very hard to earn enough money to give people their pennies but he was willing to do so in return for the peddler making the harp stop playing that maddening tune i hope you enjoyed this story so what did you learn from this story never think you are too smart there will someone already be there to outsmart you so have you heard of marco polo he was a great traveler on his journey to china marco polo learned about paper money i hope you enjoyed this fact too don't forget to like this video share this video and subscribe to my channel for more bedtime stories good night